from you to Mr. Brooks dated August 16th of last year. Could you read it aloud, sir? I don't have my reading glasses. It's all right. Tim, if you think you're going to get one more penny out of me for the Bixicorn hard drives after I've already laid out two expletive million dollars, you are expletive dreaming. Push this any further and you'll be explaining to the expletive cops how you managed to steal them in the first place. Now, I've admitted a few choice words, but those are your words, sir. Think clearly before you answer. I'd like to remind you that you are under oath. Forty-seven million. Two hundred would have been better. Chastity, you're awesome. And we are hitting the clubs tomorrow night to celebrate on you. Yeah, right. I have a huge deposition to prepare for. You know I have to be flawless, Chastity, right? Chastity, you're gonna flame out if you keep up this pace. You need a drink or two in you, and a dirty dance with a hot guy. But I already have a man in my life. I'm about to go pick him up now. <laughs> and there he is, Duncan. There's my little guy. Thank you. We will see you tomorrow. You're welcome. Have a good one. Come on. Roxanne, sweetheart. Would you let me buy? <laughs> Roxanne, don't you think this is a little unfair? Did your fist do that right next to my head, or am I remembering incorrectly? I hurt myself, not you. You know I would never hurt you. Listen, baby, we're gonna get married. We're engaged. What are you gonna throw that away for one bad night? If it were one bad night? No. Don't do that. But we both know it's not just that. Hey, man. What are you doing in my office? Just checking in. You still on for racquetball? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Buddy. I mean, you got to treat her like she's... Best thing to do is get back on the horse. Nothing makes you forget about a woman better than another woman. Yeah. I guess. But the road to partner isn't paved with club hopping. Well, I went through many one at all. It's just that the only name change I need is my name on that door at the office. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I can open doors for you, too. Watch this. Trust me. Don't do that. Hi there. Hi. Let me ask you something. Hi. Um, isn't my friend here uncommonly beautiful? Uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> I'd actually say that you were uh, underestimating things. She's brilliant, too. Big time lawyer. Oh, well, wow. I'm a lawyer, too. For real? Yeah, yeah, Miss Taryn Smith. I don't know about big time, but. Yeah, it's big time. <laughs> well, then. I'll... Don't be. I wouldn't have had the nerve to go up and talk to you. <laughs> what firm you with? Um, I'm with Darby Lobel, but I won't be there long if I don't get, get back. back to my desk. Let me guess deposition. How did you know that? I didn't, but I know what it's like trying to get everything perfect. It's tough measuring up when the bar is so high. You have a tough time measuring up? <laughs> I find that hard to believe. <laughs> well, why don't you give me some time and maybe I can convince you beyond a reasonable doubt. I'm here to have one drink with an old friend. Now you got a new friend. So, let's have one more drink, huh? And maybe I can make my case. Right. The lawyers are lame. Lame and mean if you tell them right. Okay, you're next. Go ahead. Okay. How does a defense attorney sleep at night? Oh, I remember hearing this one. How is it again? They lie on their left side. And they lie. They lie on their right, right side. <laughs> hey, oh, my God. Okay, well, listen, I've got to get going. Did, did you know it's after 1 a.m.? Well, I, I knew that, but I wasn't about to tell you. Oh, i got to get going. All right, you knew this was coming. Give me your number. Xavier, it was wonderful <sighs> meeting Don't you. Tell me that. No. I know, well, no, no, seriously, seriously. I'm just not into the dating thing. I'm oh. so swamped at work, and it's just. Try to call you once. 
No more than three times. If I get voicemail, I promise I'll delete you. But at least this way you won't have any regrets. I'm a lawyer. I should know better. <laughs> but okay. We don't really talk like we used to. Like we used to. Nah. I don't say the things that I want to. When I'm with you. When I'm with you. Girl. Good time. I thought you were coming on the six o'clock ferry. Well, maybe I was driving a little fast. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm making your favorite. I'm excited. Where's the birthday boy? <laughs> he is in the living room. Okay, I'll be right in there. Come on, Duncan, let's go see him. Happy birthday, Dad. Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> there she is. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you, too. I brought you a little something. You didn't have to do that. Oh, open it. Brown Estate Special Selection Cow. Well, I must have put you back a pretty penny. Well, I won a big case the other day, so I wanted to ask. Just thought you'd like it. I do. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. I'm gonna put Duncan downstairs. No. Up before you say anything, you know he didn't mean it. Yes, he did, Mama. He just couldn't resist. You know, your dad respects what you do. It's just that sometimes it feels like you want your life to be... I want my life to be what, Mom? Well, maybe the opposite of what he does. It's like he thinks he walks on water. The noble defense attorney advocating for the downtrodden. He gets paid, too, <laughs> very well. So I don't understand more about justice than two big corporations fighting it out. Jeez, Mom, you sound like him. I just want to explain his thought process. I've been with that man for many years now. Maybe you can help expand his thought process, get him to see that when I help corporations settle disputes, that's justice, too. Well, he's right there in the living room. Why don't you go tell him yourself? Mom, I came to celebrate his birthday, not argue with the brick wall. Really? You need to read your Bible. Honor thy father and mother. This is still your father's house. I know, and I read that part of the scripture too, Mom. You know, it also says, and ye fathers provoke your... Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going to take this call. I'll okay. be right back. Up, oh, hello. Welcome to King's Pizza. How can I help you? Wow, you answered. And after only one call, I gave you such an easy out. You know what this means, right? This means that you called at the right time to rescue me from my parents. Well, I guess it means I have great timing. I'm taking you to dinner tonight. Well, I'm actually out of town, so you're going to have to dine alone. Really? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm taking you to dinner tomorrow night. Well... We can go for a drink one on Friday night. It's only Get out of there now. Oh my gosh, Xavier, you're so corny. Right, I gotta go, but we good? We good. All right, I'll talk to you later. Cheers. Wow. That is not a dress, that is a lawsuit. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, so uh, I was thinking maybe we can track down that food truck later, Sushi Wan. I haven't had it. Let me tell you, it is. Uh, Xavier, I said one drink. I just thought maybe you'd be hungry later. Mm, I bet I know what else you thought. <laughs> Think again, friend. <laughs> <sighs> six times a week, but then I, I do this avocado facial peel. That's incredible. We're not talking my complexion, are we? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. It's just that I don't... I don't do this. I won't tell anyone if you won't. You heading back to the club? No, it's it's getting late. Well, listen, if you think I was in this just for a quick roll, 
Uh, it's not my style. Well, of course, I didn't assume that. I like you. I want to keep seeing you. Yeah? Yeah. You wouldn't be one of those nice guys I've heard tales about. The legends are true. And if you let this one get away, you can't go crying to your friends in 10 years saying all the good ones are taken. <laughs> You're trying to get me drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess whatever does a trick, right? <laughs> what does that look? It's just that you you did all of this. You went this far to celebrate. I haven't celebrated a one month anniversary since I was a freshman in high school. Are you kidding me? You don't celebrate one month anniversaries? Who does that? Huh? Who does that? I celebrate every special occasion, and that certainly is one of them. When's your birthday? December 15th. So sweet. If we are not meant to be in the book of fate. December 15th. Both lawyers. <laughs> same birthday. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. And it appears the angels are on board. <laughs> wow. Oh. Is that as a sign from up above? I mean, actually? Hmm? Can I get you some food? Bring you down something? No, I'm good. I'm just kind of under the gun. They pushed the court date of the WGI case. We lost a witness. Well, we're scrambling. Well, maybe two lawyers are better than one, huh? You have any extra work you want to source out? I'm happy to help. Oh, really? That's much appreciated, Xavier. But I'm going to be non-existent for the next week. You're going to have to live without me. You there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Uh... Is, uh, there anything else wrong? No, no, it's just that I'm insanely busy. Listen, I'll... There. That belongs in a frame on my wall. No. Let me see it. Uh -uh. Look at no. this. It's amazing. And that was the first time I ever painted something in my life. That was the first time you ever... Mm -hmm. Okay, it's definitely going to go in my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that right now. Well, great. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's go. Dance in the park. Uh, that's probably the wine talk. Yes, and it's the wine telling <laughs> going for it. Uh, what's happening here? Marry me. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. I'm serious, let's get married. No, you're not. What if I told you I was? Oh my gosh. Look, Jess, you just never connected with anyone like I have with you. That's really sweet, but... You don't have to answer me right away. Just think about it. You know, I know what I got here. I know after only eight days of being away from you, the real mistake would be letting you go. And the answer to all this is getting married? When did this occur to you? What if I told you I've been thinking about it for a week? I'd say you need to get your head examined. <laughs> well, I mean, I clearly just came up with it right now. But it doesn't mean I'm not serious. This is epically romantic, but no more wine for you. Right. At least I'd let you know how I felt. Right. Okay. Will you call me when you get home?
guy by the name of Roger Dumpkins, would you? You just skipped out on his check. Roger? Oh, my God. Sit, sit. Talk to me. Chess, chess. <laughs> Look at you looking like a zillion bucks. Oh, thank you. I can't believe I'm seeing you. I mean, what has it been, seven or eight years? Easy. Actually, I run into your folks a lot back mm. at home. I hear you're doing really well. I'm doing all right. <laughs> what have you been up to? What? No, don't answer that. Mom told me that you're you're in business for yourself. I am. Businessman. That's so, so good. I'm happy for you. Wow. I don't know why I put anything in this purse. It takes me three years to find anything. That pepper spray if you stuck with the karate, young lady. Well, have you seen what my neighborhood has turned into, young man? Please give me your phone and email. And email. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Date of birth, height, weight. Need my social, too? Absolutely. I do background checks. Some everybody. things don't change. <laughs> oh, Xavier. Hey. I would love for you to meet an old friend of mine. How you doing? Roger Dump. Hi. We grew up together, home in Wavecrest. Ah. Yeah. You know what? I got to go, but uh, keep in touch. I will. And please send me pictures of the new place. I nice see you, Chaz. Oh, it's so good to see you. Didn't mean to spoil the reunion. Oh, no. Chaz. Oh, stop it, Xavier. You're right on time. I'm starving. Listen, I was thinking maybe later we can go check out that museum you were talking about. What do you think? I was kind of thinking something different. Baby boy, come on. <laughs> I wanna do something different tonight. Wanna get what I've been missing tonight. The way you kiss and hold the lips, I wanna feel you when the stars are aligning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You say that you're here, and I know you're just catching feelings for me. Mm. A little bit more warning next time you get some stress reliever. Oh, no. Big time. I am more than happy to oblige. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I was late earlier. I had sent this accidental email at work, and I had to do some fancy footwork to get out of it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I fixed it, but it could have been bad. The unforgiving send button. Hmm, that's right. <sighs> you at least had your uh, buddy there to keep you company, huh? Oh, yeah, I was so surprised. <laughs> hmm. What does he do, anyway? What's his name again? Uh, Roger. We took the same karate class. You took karate? Yes, oh. I did. And wow. I am a green belt. So if anybody should be bullying you or bothering you, call me. Yes, there is <laughs> one. Uh, it's a guy in accounting. He keeps on stealing my juice box. Well, <laughs> karate was the extracurricular activity my father insisted on. Mm -hmm. But it did stick. Roger kept going, and uh, we stayed friends. Just friends, or maybe a little bit more? Okay, well, maybe we dated for a year in high school. Oh. It, it, he's a small-town guy, and I'm a big city girl. Wasn't gonna last. What if the circumstances were different? What if you... Ne I know you're not the jealous type. Well, I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous at all. But just that, I could tell he's still into you. Oh, no, no, you could not. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he's not. I'm telling you, I can see it. Whatever. <laughs> it's all right there in the eyes. What, are you psychic now? No, I'm not psychic. People don't realize how much they give away with their eyes and their facial expressions, that's all. Mm. Well, what are my eyes saying now? But you want round two. You do have a gift. <laughs> <laughs> not my Oh, no, it was it was depressing. Yeah, but it was real. If she got on that train, it would have been a cheese. No, you know, the ending was okay, but something about the priest not being able to, you know, see anything, or was he blind, or what was it? He didn't know anything about it. <laughs> oh, speaking of priests, did you get the invite to Joanne's baby's christening? Oh, I did, and I'm dreading it, but because I know it's going to be a big production. You know, my family, we just kind of do the family thing, and we just move on. Well, you know, to me, it's not a christening unless you... Smash a champagne bottle of something. Oh, well, baby's heads are too soft for that, darling. Well, obviously, we, we put a helmet on them. 
Y'all are definitely made for each this other. Is true. Can I have a piece of dirt? Absolutely. Undecided denomination. Really? Are you an atheist? Well, agnostic. I'm running a little bit more evidence before I take it to the jury. How about you, Chastity? I'm not the big church gore that I once was, but I still believe the broad strokes, the Ten Commandments, the seven deadly sins. Well, you all can keep your Ten Commandments. I'm gonna go with the deadly sins. They sound like more fun, right? <laughs> well, here is to gluttony. Cheers to that. Mm. An agnostic. Your parents are gonna love that. Oh, let them think what they want. Not everybody was raised in the church. Are we at the meet the parents stage? <laughs> <laughs> Am I not? See, <sighs> again, not to get ahead of ourselves, but do you think he's a marrying type? If anyone is, he is. Did I tell you he proposed a few weeks ago? No, you most certainly <sighs> did not. He got on one knee, girl. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> Okay, he was, he was drunk. That was cute, he was drunk. Okay, is it just me or is that crazy cuckoo? It was impulsive. He's romantic. He's so embarrassed by it still, I don't even bring it up. Oh my lordy lord. <laughs> I sent the email and then I realized that I, I forgot to take her off CC's. I realized it was an idiotic mistake and I tried to fix it. Trying to fix it was the idiotic mistake. You should have come to us first. But you were more concerned with covering your own ass than following protocol, and now we have this huge mess. You're right. You're absolutely right, and I'm sorry. I, uh, I won't do it again. No, with this client, you're off the case. No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, you, that's too far. You can't be serious. You know, we bear some of the responsibility ourselves on this. We just weren't ready for something this delicate. If it comes between losing this client and losing you, we are... Yeah. Yeah? How about we start that again? I'm sorry, baby. I'll... I'll... I'm just having a day. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. You know you can tell me anything. Uh, no. It'll just upset me all over again. Well, would a home-cooked meal help? Immensely. Perfect. I'll order up some Thai. <laughs> See you soon. You like that? So what do you think? Oh, my gosh. Roger, your new place looks amazing. I can't... Yeah, I've got to go, but we'll, we'll talk soon. Hey! Hey. Oh, you're quite tense. Yeah, I told you I had a rough day. Chastity, why, why is it that I'm always finding you... Yucking it up with your ex. What do you mean always? Come on, it's only been like two times. You're telling me you only talked to me these last two times? Okay. Let's set an early relationship rule here. We're not going to take out our office problems on each other. Office problems? <laughs> I'm not talking about office problems. I'm talking about you striking up again with your ex. You're not actually jealous. Do not talk. On you talking to somebody that you said you dated for a second in high school? A second? Yeah, I mean, what the... Oh, my God. A second? You said you dated him for like a year or something. Listen, you're obviously not in the state of mind to have a rational conversation. Man, I hate that. Hate what? That I want you to be rational? I hate that you assume that I'm not just because I'm upset. You're upset about something irrational. Look... Why don't we just call this a night where you can go home and get some sleep and have some distance Please, from the day? Don't dismiss me. You were the one that invited me over here. That was before you accused me. That's a, that's a good idea, actually. I, I, I think so. I'm gonna get out of your hair. Why don't you, uh, why don't you do me a favor? Call your best friend Roger back. Talk to him all damn night. Good luck. Oh. Cheers. 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 Should really be proud of the work you have done. I mean, we really came through with this one. Excuse me, miss? Yes. This is from the gentleman at the bar. Yeah. 
Chastity. <laughs> How did you even know I was here? Lucky guess. Um, I appreciate the gesture, but I'll replace the phone. Oh, look, um, about the other night, I just wanted to... Uh... Listen, it's okay. I know you didn't mean it. All is forgiven, but I think we should leave things the way they are, and let's just go our separate ways. I'm a survivor of child abuse. And that's not meant to be an excuse by any means, but just to let you know that why sometimes I did therapy my entire life, but after the other night I realized that I'm gonna need some if I'm gonna get any better. Having you in my life as a friend wouldn't be so bad either. Tell me. Well, so my mom had me when she was very young, and she just couldn't handle keeping a job and raising a young son. So she abused you? No, no, no. I love my mom. But then she left me with my grandma. She was a very angry person, my grandma. And then my mother died. For years, I had to put up with that. That monster. I'm telling you, that does things to you. I eventually got away. I uh, buried myself in the books. That got me scholarships, got me through college, and eventually law school, so my brain's good. Just my soul that's broken. I understand. That's all that I was hoping for. But you do need therapy. I won't stick around for that. Oh, does this mean you're keeping the phone? For now. But I don't give third chances. I mean it. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It feels good to finally be the hero over here after such a long time in the doghouse. Oh, you saved the day, baby. They just merely underestimated my greatness is all. <laughs> Call you back. Bye. Junior partner? Mm -hmm. That's me. Say it again. Junior partner on her way to senior partner. Mm, now that sounds so good. <laughs> Ten more years you're going to be running the joint. Oh, right. How am I going to do that at the White House? <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get enough votes for the White House carrying around that ratty ass briefcase. Ratty ass briefcase? Now that was a gift from my father. For what? Your fifth birthday? <laughs> Come on. Sorry. I'm gonna trade it in for something better, huh? Uh, what? You or the briefcase? Why would you say a thing like that? Have I not been the perfect yin to your yang? Yes, you have. Mm. Now we're talking. And I cook? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. you can. Mm. You know, I was so... Mm. I was wondering if you would like to have dinner with me and my father. Really? He's coming into town next week. I was thinking that it's time. Don't you? Yeah. I do. Oh, wow. I mean, Chastity never told me that her father was the Victor Jeffries. Oh, I never told you that? I believe that I didn't put it together when uh, we were first introduced. Well, there's more than one attorney named Victor Jeffries, I'm sure. None with your reputation, however. I mean, you smashed through boundaries where they were never broken before. I studied many of your cases in law school. Hopefully the ones I won. Are there any other kind? Enough, sadly. <laughs> All right, I think you've inflated Dad's ego enough for one night. Yes, I'd like to be able to fit my head through the door on my way out. My apologies. Didn't mean to pour it on. Yeah. Will you both excuse me for a moment? Of course. Mm. Are you done? Yes. It's very nice. He's a very smart young man. But 
Why does there have to be a but? Because we're getting pretty serious. And I could see us being together for, a, well, a long time. Well, you're a grown woman. Yeah, I know that. I was just asking your genuine opinion of him. I know he's a nice guy. I know he's a smart guy. Thank you very much. And I think you'd be smart to move on from this man. Go on, please. He strikes me as a man of great style, but very little substance. You know, I'm curious, Dad. Have there been any choices that I have ever made that have measured up to your standards? This again? Yes, this again. When I was just learning to stand, you thought I should already be walking. When I started walking, you thought I should already be running marathons. You know better than to exaggerate when you're trying to make a case, Chastity. We're not in... Hunter, I knew you'd have to be better equipped than your competitors. So I tried to give you the equipment. And I also knew that for you to succeed, you'd have to work twice as hard and be twice as good. So I pushed you hard. And to whom much is given, much is required. So forgive me, Miss Junior Partner, but it seems to have worked out pretty damn good. Clearly it's something. Your mood went from a 10 to a 2 out of nowhere. It's my father, but just please, let's drop it. Okay. I just don't want to talk about it. This obviously has something to do with me. So it makes it at least partly my business. It's nothing new, but I was just seeking approval from my father, and I didn't get it. End of story. Approval of what? Me? Yes, Xavier, but please don't take it personal. He's never approved of anything I've done. Well, it's clear his approval means something to you. I mean, look, if he doesn't like me, fine. And you know, I wish he did, but I'll live with it. But why does what he thinks about me matter to you so much? You know, his reputation isn't exactly spotless for all the polish. Savior. And I thought you were trying to make a name at the restaurant. I'm angry at my father. I don't want to talk to anybody. This, this is your problem, Chastity. This right here is the key to all of your problems. Oh, here we go. No, no, it all comes down to daddy, doesn't it? Uh Excuse Xavier, you're walking close to the I'm edge. I'm walking close to the edge? Yes, you are. I think you are willing to sabotage what we have over your father's approval for just one second. And that's why you focus so much on your career over your personal life. So tell me, how's that going for you so far, Chastity? I don't need you to be my armchair psychiatrist, okay? How about you worry about your mommy issues before you worry about me and my hey, listen, daddy you issues? Don't talk about Excuse it like me, that. Xavier, you understand me? Get your hands Stop off pulling me. Away from I mean, let me go. You okay? All right, I bear gifts from the all night shop. Now, there were only two choices, so not a lot, and you are definitely not the world's greatest grandpa. What do you think? Yeah, yeah this is supposed to fix things. Chastity was an accident. You shoved me into the street, and a car almost hit me. You fell off the curb. This is just not going to work. Listen to me, Chastity. I understand where your rage comes from, and I'm very sympathetic. The therapy, if you just I give it some I told you time, I am be... not giving you a third chance. So what? Because of this rule you set for yourself, you're gonna throw every other damn thing away? I mean, a couple of hours ago, you were taking me to meet your, your dad, and now you're here, you're willing to, 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 to break up for what? One lousy argument? What is the matter with you? Look at you. Look at how furious you are getting. And it is more than anger. When you boil over, it turns into pure wrath. And I, that can't be my burden. I cannot let that be. Chastity, please. This just happened, so everything is raw. I'm going to give you whatever time you need to gain perspective on this. I know. But that's not enough. Don't do this, Chastity. Sorry. I'm... It's over. I'm sorry.
how about you? Mm. How are things? I, I, I thought... Not everything was back to normal. These guys, I'm telling you, just... They don't let me live down that one stupid mistake. I'm starting to think that I need to look for another job at a different firm. I don't know. Do you equate their treatment of you as abandonment? Abandonment? Really? Is there any other way to look at it? Of course it's abandonment. I just think maybe it's not a very good fit for you there. Not every bad thing that happens should be a confirmation of your fears. Cassidy, have you stopped trying to get in touch with her? I only get voicemail. She doesn't return my calls or my texts. Just absolutely ridiculous because I think she at least owes me a damn conversation after what happened. Doesn't she? I didn't mean to hurt her. I think you need to take stock of where this obsession with her has gotten you. Obsession? Seriously. I'm not obsessed with her. I. You have to understand, it's her decision. She has every right to end things with you. And the healthiest thing you can do is to accept that and move on. surgeon who draws a line. I'm not about to make her face look like it's vacuum sealed. Well, that kind of thing, it kind of sounds like, oh, girl, I'm good. I'm all right. Is he still trying to call? Oh, my gosh, all the time. I am on your side, but I do feel sorry for him. Me too, but that's the way it's got to be. Do you still miss him? Oh, of course I do. Sometimes, but I'm not about to be a woman in an abusive relationship. Sorry, should I not have brought him up? It's okay, you know, it's my mistake, but I've learned from it. Well, if there's anything you need, I'm right here for you. Oh, look, girl, I gotta go. Oh, no. He was right about I got a package for you. Oh, wow. What is this box? I don't know, but a messenger delivered it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yes, I got it. What is this about? I just wanted to get your attention. Anyone can send flowers, right? No, no. What is the briefcase about me? What did you do, bug my apartment? What are you talking about? I mean, I spilled wine on my briefcase last night, and by coincidence, this showed her. No, no, no. Some, something's going on. Xavier, I swear, if you did something like that, that I'm going to... I missed you. All right? I, I thought the gesture would get you to talk to me. Maybe you'd agree to let me take you to dinner. That's all. Xavier, it's over. Move on. And I'm asking you, do not call me again. So, yeah, you have definitely got spyware all over this thing. Really? How could spyware be on this? I have this with me all the time. Yeah, it could have been a bunch of things, right? You download a file, it takes like a couple seconds. Okay, well, well, what would a person like this have access to? All of it, everything on the computer. What if I did a video call? Look, if it happens on your screen, they'd be able to see it. How can we prove who did it? Can we trace them? How could we get pee out of a pool? No, look, this could have happened in the next office over or literally any boiler room on planet Earth. I would recommend you just wipe this thing totally clean. Yeah, okay. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm.
Look who it is. Hey, Roger. Hey, I have a question. Shoot. Why do you think I have such bad judgment in men? This is a trick question, because I'm somewhere on that list. Oh, but that was in high school. High school is where it all begins, right? Being honest, I feel all your troubles begin when you let me go. You broke up with me. Oh, I broke up with you. Who was the one who said, Roger, I'm going to Seattle on your state? Lawyer. What's bothering you, Chas? I won't bore you with it. Because I live a various side in life, huh? <laughs> Please, bore me. What are you talking about? See, you don't even know. Your dad loved you. No, he didn't. He did. He told me himself. My dad told you he loved you. Well, no. But you know how your dad is. He didn't say those exact words, but he pulled me to the side one day, and he was like, Roger, you're a good guy. But you hurt my little girl. I'm gonna kill you. Oh my gosh. No, you did not. I don't think he sounded like that. <laughs> but shortly after you dumped me, I never took it. Huh. Roger, you are a good man. And you even came all this way just to hear me complain. Next time you come to the island and return the favor. You know my kids keep promise. I will. <laughs> Better get going. Aww. I'm here to pick up my little friend. Oh, he was already here. Who was already here? Your friend. Picked up Duncan like an hour ago. No, what are you talking about? Yeah, you texted me. Did you forget? He's allowed my friend. like i picked up your dog for you give him to me just one second no i've already called the police oh, Justin, you're making this bigger than what it is <laughs> okay uh, you you're right but i just want you to talk to me i stayed away all right i proved to you that i'm not some clinging lunatic okay savior we're talking you haven't been fair to me chastity yeah, sure, I did. Patient with you holding Duncan like that. The fact that I'm holding him like this is the only reason why you're talking to me. Safe, I promise. You just give Duncan to me. We can sit a while. We can talk about this. We can we can work this out. Just like I was saying to you. There's some time nice. I know you're lying. That hurts me. And that makes me want to hurt you. Mom, it's so nice to have you home, Chastity, despite the circumstances. The win right now on top of everything else. Chastity, he's your father. He wants to know that you're safe. Mom, I told you Xavier was arrested and charged with battery. I don't think he wants to throw his life away on me. He's out on bail, though. We don't know what he's going to do. Well, that's why I got a restraining order. It's just a piece of paper, baby. Mom, what else do you want me to do? Xavier, he doesn't know I'm here, so I thought I could just just recharge and reassess everything that's happened. And Melanie's going to take good care of my dog till I get back. Well, why don't you go to church with me tomorrow? We haven't done that in a while. I'm so angry at God right now. He's all about to be such a successful attorney. When good things happen, do you always stop and thank God? No. 
Well, then if you don't thank him for the good things, then maybe don't blame him for the bad things. We have a choice whether we want to be good or bad. Some folks decide that they want to be bad. I blame them, not God. I won't blame God, but I, I think he could have thought through things a little better. Front kick, yeah. side kick, yeah. roundhouse. Yeah. Alicia, great job. You're a real life beast. Uh, what do we say when a beautiful woman is approaching? Class dismissed. Great job today. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. So is that how you win all the girls over? Just some wisdom from my sensei <laughs> and his sensei before. All right, punk fool. Where are you taking me to eat? Before we go eat, I need you to do something for me first. Punch him with everything you got. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. <clears throat> yeah, just what I thought. I'm gonna need some work. Oh, oh, yeah, right. I put up my belt a long time ago. Well, you better get the dust off of it. Look, I'd rather you be prepared in case Romeo pop up again, okay? Listen, the problems that I have with Xavier will not be solved through a karate fight. Well, wise philosopher once said it's better to know. Mm. If you need to use it, you can use it. If you don't, then don't. It's muscle memory. You know that. Okay. Too late for your pepper spray. What you want to do? Oh, oh. Mm. I'm so sorry. I'm no, that was, that was good. Um, sorry, you coming early. I think that's enough cans for this box. Don't want it too heavy. What, you supposed to be a strong karate man? You can't carry a box? I could put it in the truck, but somebody scrawny like you may have to take it off at the church. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. You too. <laughs> what? I'm just having a deja vu about when you were teens and used to take jabs at each other to cover how sweet you were on each other. Mm. And then I catch you out back in a lip lock. That'll do, Mom. It's enough. Y'all thought I didn't know what was going on, huh? You know what, I'm going to finish loading the trunk, OK? I didn't hear none of that. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Time to think things through, that's all. You put your hands on me. You broke into a house. That's the kind of crap crazy people do. You're in big trouble, all right? You were arrested. You're on forced leave from the firm. You're lucky they don't fire your ass. Not to mention maybe losing your law license. Get your head out of your ass, all right? It's over. She doesn't want you. And if that's the way it is, I'm cool with that. Just don't call me crazy. Bye, sir. There we go. Okay? Come on. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't land any of those hits I was trying to throw. I'm a fifth degree black belt. Nobody's landing those. Ordinary joke, you're in big trouble, though. Mm. <sighs> but that was fun. It, I, I won't be too hard on myself. It was fun. She stuck with it. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Maybe she stuck with me, too. I, I agree. <laughs> well, with that being said, maybe you should practice law over here at the island, move back over. We'll pick back up where we left off. How about you move to the city and open up a dojo there? Mm, I like it here. I like it. I'm here now. Oh, really? Yes. Well, get over here. Arrested from day one, never guessed it. I'm so sprung, I'm mm. laughing. Cause I don't even know what you did. Come on.
got you some VIP tickets, front of the room. <laughs> so sweet. He can be real sweet. Where? Somebody I know. Break up. We don't have a long break. Even as a kid, I just never liked cilantro. You're not even gonna taste the cilantro. See? That's the point. Then why putting it in there? Listen, can you get my gloves for me in the car? Enjoy the view. <laughs> it's a great one. <laughs> Chastity. Xavier, what the hell are you doing here? Just in the neighborhood, visiting some clients. Although, I thought I might run into you. You don't have any clients in this neighborhood. Let's just agree to disagree on that, huh? You look nice, however. It's nice to see you. I have a restraining order against you, and you are well within 100 feet of me. I'm not supposed to be anywhere near you, I know that. <laughs> and you're probably afraid of me, but I'm just here to tell you that you don't need to be. All right? If you just give me shit. I thought you were supposed to be the one that's supposed to forgive. Look, if you just allow me 10 minutes, that's all I'm asking for, and you understood Is the there a problem over here? Oh, great. Of course, Roger's with you. Why don't you mind your own business, pal? I'm making this my business now. Not really? She obviously doesn't want to talk to you. So let me tell you this, okay? You keep things pushing, there'll be no need for things to get unpleasant. <laughs> Listen to me, okay? If you want to live a long, fruitful life, I advise you to never contact Chastity again. Let go of me. Do you understand? Get the hell off me! I have a restraining order against him. I'll take that as a yes. Chastity, you know I love you. Why are you doing this to me? Just it, it it's over. I hope so. But you were right about him. Once again, you knew better than I did. Sweetheart, leave that I just want the best for you. Ever since you were a little girl, I thought I wanted. I pushed you hard for excellence because I knew life would push you harder. But you were right. You are. Just wanted to tell you. It's not about me being right. Since the day you were born, you had me beat. such a sick thing. An animal heart? Yes, yes. He definitely did it. But that's not all that... Oh, Roger, your new place. Watch your step. It's glass over here. Mm. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesse. Captain. Why did you let him go? He made bail. He was just arrested last night. Wasn't there going to be an arraignment? This isn't the city. The judge that's out here, he... Well, he went fishing. 
Anyway, we haven't found any prints so far. But guys who do things like this always leave something behind. He's not going to leave any... How he could be anywhere, but... I mean, what good is that going to do if he didn't leave any proof that he did this? Something's going to come up, Chastity. Okay, we're still collecting evidence. But one thing we know for sure is that he's still out there. And you can't help me. <laughs> there we go. Good job. Damn. Good kick. But you're using too much of your lower body, okay? More balance. You got arms, right? Use them, young lady. But you said good kick. Right. But I'm anticipating a kick because that's all you're throwing. All right. I need a break. I, I've seen enough hearts lately. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Roger, I, I do have to get back to the city. I have to get back to my life. You think that makes the most sense? I mean, maybe you should wait till the cops pick them up. Well, the cops will pick him up, lock him up, and then he'll make bail. Again, I can't hide forever. Chastity, this man's dangerous. Yeah, but if he wanted to kill me, he would have done it the other night when he was in my room. A man with a, a mind like that, who thinks like that, think you need to take him more serious. Are you suggesting that I'm not taking this seriously? I'm suggesting that you... Roger, I've got to clean this mess up myself. I brought this here, I brought this to you, I brought this to my parents. You don't need to worry about me. And you don't need to worry about me. I can handle myself. A woman with a psychopath stalker. Of course I'm gonna worry about you. Roger, I just got out of a controlling relationship. I'm trying to control you. You know that. I'm trying to help protect you. But that's the problem. You can't. And the presumption that I need a knight on a horse... No, it's not like that. Okay. I got a pack. Chastity, come on. Are you... Roger, I thought we both understood. You like things here, I like things there. Remember? Roger, I'm not upset. I'll call you before I leave. Hey, Mama. Oh, God, I wish you didn't have to go. Oh, I know. But it's time. I'm still going to worry. Listen, I had about $7,000 worth of security equipment installed in my apartment. I'll be okay. Well, one more piece of security won't hurt. I got you a going away present. Mama, well, since when do you have a gun anyway? Girl, everybody on this island has at least one gun. How many cops do you think we have? Oh, God. Just put it in your nightstand, and if it doesn't give you some comfort, it's certainly going to give me some. Um, you know they're going to trace my life of crying back to this moment. <laughs> hey. Hey, I'm sorry we argued. Yeah, me too. I know you're just concerned about me. I know you don't need a big, strong man to take care of you. I just can't help it that I'm a big, strong man. You know, no matter what, I always enjoy talking to you. Yeah, right. Be off. You're leaving tonight? Well, how can I convince you to stay another day? What was that? Roger? Roger! Hey, are you okay? Roger! Go in ambulance! Excuse me. I'm, no, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm a friend of his. You can come in. He's stable for now. For now? Um, how bad is he? He's going to make it. You put your mind at ease about that. Is there anything uh, permanent? Will, will he walk again? There's no reason to think he won't make a full recovery. But he is going to be here for a while. Thank you. Just take your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, what a day. You must be exhausted. 
Oh, I don't even have words. Detective, I think I have it from here. All right. Get some rest, Chess. Thank you so much. I'll try. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Be home soon. I didn't leave it open. Gotta go. <laughs> your boy Roger now. Oh, out. Your leg's broken. I mean, it looks broken. Another way to put it is you didn't come to this. You brought it to this. And what choice did you give me? Huh? You just shut it all down. Everything. I love you. Then why are you hurting me? You hurt me. Yeah, I did some bad things, I know. But I'm a good person. You didn't even give me a chance. What are you gonna do, shoot me? I don't know, maybe I should. I just have this... This anger! You know it was better when I was with you? Do you know that? Xavier, I want to help you. for that now, Chastity. You did this. You brought out this wrath. And now you're gonna pay. Still not here? What time is She should have been here two hours ago. I don't know why she hasn't called me. She knows I worry. Let's call her again. Okay. I said I'm sorry. Congratulations. Don't you have to forgive me? Why do I have to forgive you for something you did to someone else? Where do you get your rules? The agnostic's guide to Christianity? She is not late because she's visiting a friend. I know. I just have to explore all possibilities. Nobody's seen her, Sam. We've called everybody we know. Is it possible she changed her mind and made the last ferry? Drove herself back to the city? She told me she was coming straight home from the hospital. Okay, I don't want the two of you to work yourselves up too much. We have patrol cars out there looking. We'll find her. I'm trying to be... I know. I'd like to think that you're not beyond redemption. Xavier... This has to stop now. You're not at the point of no return. You see that, Chastity? That's all that I wanted? I just wanted you to talk to me and to listen. Am I crazy to think that there might still be something between us, Chastity? No. Oh. Part of it. I can't take your word for it that you're making progress. Of course. The only problem is I don't believe you. Xavier, you don't believe that I sincerely want to help you? I think you're telling me what you think of. How do I know you're not 
just trying to manipulate me. By looking directly into my eyes. The eyes always tell. You don't know if I'm lying. I love you. I love you. Visiting hours here are too short. So I came up with this. Smart woman. Came in the system, huh? You know it. Did they get him? I got him. You? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Only six more deadly sins to conquer. Savior. Why are you here? I came for one thing, to forget what's behind me and reach to what's ahead. Why? I think it'd do my soul some good. I'm sorry for everything. Xavier, your anger destroyed your life and I was not about to let it destroy mine. You're right. I did what I came to do. Hey, okay. You know, Chastity, I've got um, parole coming up in a couple of years. Or, you know, maybe you could put in a good word. Xavier, how does it always turn right around to you? How is that? You know, you did forgive me. I don't think you will ever get it. Do you understand you put me in prison first? I mean, there were no bottom corner. My forgiveness is not a gift to you. I forgive you so that I can forget. I forgive you so that I can move on. I forgive you to purge my own wrath. Am I stupid to think that you'll come visit me again? I'm never coming back. But I will pray for you. about it is the itch. It's torture. 
the worst part is what could have happened to you. But it didn't. I'm okay. Well, we're not okay, sweetheart. What if I lost you? I'd be the stubborn old man who didn't take the chance when he had it to set things right with his daughter. You're no more stubborn than I am. I have treated you real well. You handled this whole thing better than anyone I know would have. Can't tell you how proud it makes me. Thanks, Dad. I really appreciate that. I'm just so worried. Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> Things worked out. We've been proud of you, Chastity. And I'm sorry I haven't said it enough. Would have been nice. But I'm so glad that you pushed me. Should have stuck with karate like I want. See, and I think you, you just had to throw a champion. A lovable quarterback. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>